Hey guys, uh, CNC Freak here, and I am on vacation. Um, I've been going and hitting some pawn shops, flea markets, um, thrift stores in the area um, in North Carolina where my parents live. Um, I thought I'd break it down day by day. On Saturday, uh, we arrived around 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. But that day, uh, earlier in the day, we stopped at a flea market, and I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, the guy wanted $65 for these uh, seven games that I purchased. Got him down to 60 on them. Um, I looked them up, and they're about $80 in value, so I didn't get any really great deals. But I got some games I didn't have. Some I found a few uh, uncommon games as well, so let me show you. First, I got um, Alien vs. Predator for the Super Nintendo. It's a pretty good shape. This is one I've been um, actually looking for as well. Next, I got Lost Vikings. It is complete in box for the Sega Genesis. Next, I picked up uh, three uh, NES games. First, we've got the uh, Quattro Adventure 4 and 1. It's got um, Boomerang Kid, Super Robin Hood, Treasure Island Dizzy, and Linus Spacehead. Another pretty uncommon game. Next is um, Shinjin the Ruler for the NES. Another pretty uncommon game. Here we've got a game I've been looking for and I finally found it for a decent price. It is Star Tropics. And it does also include the manual. And last, I've got two original Game Boy games that I found. First is Hyper Load Runner and Ultima Runes of Virtue, another one I've been looking for. I hear the Game Boy version of this is better than the actual Super Nintendo version. Alright guys, that is, like I said, the stuff that I picked up on Saturday. Um, come back n uh, tomorrow and I'll put up a video uh, of the stuff that I uh, was able to pick up on Sunday. Thanks again, guys.